here with the introductions of the team from Korea. Target number one is Korea. They found their way here to the gold medal matchup with wins against Georgia, followed by Germany and Ukraine. Ranked number one in qualifications facing a United States team that was ranked number six in qualifications. They defeated Great Britain, Mexico, and the number two ranked team from India in a tiebreaker. Now find themselves here with an opportunity at a gold medal facing a very tough team from Korea. And correct me if I'm wrong, if the three members of the Korean team were the gold, silver, and bronze medalists from yesterday's individual women's event. You are right, you are right, absolutely right. This is the, yeah, one of the most high-class archery teams in the world. And also one of the youngest here, the uh, ages ranging from 23 to 18. 23 being uh, this competitor on the starting line right now. Solid shooting. You want to, you, you just want to see them hitting the tens in this final. Eight, ten, nine through three arrows, and now onto the United States at the starting line. Jennifer Nichols. Both teams open up on the left side of the target. Wind's picking up here. Five left. See the winds turning around here on us. Beginning of the afternoon came came from right, and now it's just turning on the field. Three arrows. The United States already find themselves down by six points. And you just take a look at that scoreboard, and that five could play a major factor in this game. It is, it is. But Korea, Korea shooting a seven this time. I think they're struggling to, to see where the wind's coming from. Han of Korea. Three sevens in their last three shots. It's uh, something we don't see too often coming from a team of this caliber. No, no, you're you're right. Well, we've seen the <laughs> seen the weather conditions change a little bit. A strong shot of Jennifer Nichols here. And that's the kind and that's the kind of shot they're going to need to uh, make up some ground here as the Koreans have opened the door, so to speak, in this uh, first end. Good job, good job. That's for sure, Both that's left. for sure. 10 8. Katuna Lorig. On the line. Nine, Nine points. Nine when they have made up those points that they were falling, we find themselves at 48 48 through six arrows, and the winds have picked up. And the rain has picked up here in Antalya, Turkey. And and as we take a look at uh, the targets right now, we have uh, the wind showing it wreaking havoc on the targets. Oh, this is this is this is bad. 
And right now in play, we have a number of uh, organizers making sure debris on the field of play does not uh, affect the play. And we've seen umbrellas tumbling a little bit. The scoreboard has been bumped to a point. But nonetheless, we have a lot of a uh, lot of volunteers and a lot of workers here taking care of these sort of situations yeah, as well the this archers. Is, this is not fun, you know. Yesterday we had the wind. We started off okay this 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 afternoon, and yeah, this is this is too bad that thunder is taking up. So maybe. Thunder starting to roll into the vicinity right when we thought we uh, may have gotten rid of it. Yes, watching the head judge. I think he's going to do a timeout here because of the weather conditions. And I just saw some lightning in the background, and that is not good news for anybody as far as this competition is concerned. Because if that consistently starts to happen, we're going to see uh, a little bit of a delay here. It's very important for the archers this moment to, to keep the concentration. And how hard is that right now to be uh, seeing the crowd kind of be uh, a little stirred up by the winds and the weather and, and of course uh, the weather itself and i mean as a competitor you you have to sit back and and it's still uh, almost get into your own personal zone considering this is a gold medal at a world cup event Looks like we are going to have a slight delay here. We're not sure exactly the time frame on it, but as soon as the action does start, we'll get you back to it immediately. Or you're watching uh, gold medal coverage of the gold medal match in the Recurve Women's Team event. And after six arrows of play between the United States and Korea, all deadlocked at 48 points. Still have three ends remaining for a total of 24 arrows. Only six of them are in the books right now, so still plenty of action to uh, take part as soon as they do get uh, things back on track. Plenty of action ahead. And now it's waiting for the, for the judges to, I hear a go here. So, yep, they'll, yep, they'll, you're they'll start. You're absolutely right, my friend. They are underway once again. That was a very short delay. And you also start to feel the cool breeze coming off the water. Original shooting order is in effect here as Korea will start off this next end. The wind drop. Good shot. Nine points. Doesn't seem to be a distraction so far. Nine ten liner. This is why the, the, the Koreans are masters. You can hear the thunder in the background, and it doesn't seem to affect the yeah. team from Korea. Thunder or no thunder, they uh, keep keep back on keep on track. Wind's picking up. Nichols this at the starting line. This is going to be difficult for the U.S. team at this moment. And you know what the crazy part about this weather is? It may be windy on this shot, but two shots down the line, it may have been calm. Yeah, that's tricky about a thunderstorm nearby. But, yeah, that's, that's the thing you have to deal with. It could be you shooting the times it's no wind. So, you know. That is true. 
Shot is a very disappointing six points. Eight points. Eight points. Korea increases their lead. It was tied, and now they have a five-point advantage. Win from the left. Wow. Nine points. Strong shooting. You see her adjusting on the win. Still hitting the yellow. It's impressive. You know, the distance is 70 meters. 70 meters. The, the yellow is just about the size of a dish. So, yeah, you can imagine how accurate the ar these archers are. And have you know to what? Be. That's a really great way of putting it to our audience just to show you how precise and how technical this sport really is. That's a very disappointing shot. Yeah, I think she's back uh, to back. She shot six and five. I think Miranda League. She is. She has problems with the rain. Maybe the tension as well. And Feeling right the pressure. Now, right now, unofficially, we're at the halfway point, and unofficially, Korea holding on to a 102, 94 point lead. That's unofficial, of course, because they're going to look at that 9-10 liner and determine exactly what the point difference is in this gold medal matchup. But right now, the cheers go up for Korea as they have a substantial lead on the United States. Lightning picking up, as you can hear. That might be the this loudest. This probably we've heard. gonna be a delay on this match. We we'll just have to wait and see what the the judges decide. Judges are probably wondering exactly uh, how they're going to, I guess, figure out this situation and whether they'll play on through it. And it looks like they are going to play on. They have signaled to the athletes that they are to take the starting line. And yeah, they're halfway there. Ten points there. 
Great shot, especially what she did in the earlier end yeah, of the it's five amazing, six. amazing recovery there from around the league. Sometimes it, uh, the scores of previous rounds get into your head, and and it's nice to see a great recovery there. Conditions are they are heavy. And now the team from Korea on the starting line in this event. Starts off well with a nine. Solid shooting there with the Koreans. Back to back nines. Serious business here in this gold final match. As you can see, the rain pouring down on these archers and still shooting consistent within the eight ring. One twenty eight, one twenty one, unofficially through fifteen arrows. Y these archers need, they, they know because they are experienced that this rain is going to affect the arrows, that the arrows are going to drop lower in the target. Jennifer Nichols sh shot an eight on the low side. Good job, good job. Nine at, uh, at uh, seven o'clock. Strong shot, strong. Strong left. The rain has picked up here. Maybe she could. 18 arrows complete for the United States, 146 unofficially on the board. And Korea jumps back and hits a 10. Wow. This is amazing. Unbelievable, considering how showing. much the rain has picked up here over the last two minutes. Team, and is, back coaching, to back team is coaching each other. Where to aim? Wow. Completes it with a 10 10 8. Korea now unofficially holding a 156. 146, but of course they'll take a look at those. Uh, that one arrow, which is uh, eight star, so they'll determine the official count right away. Well, my friend, I think it's safe to say torrential downpour here in Italian Turkey yeah, for stage two of this World Cup event. Unbelievable <laughs> right now, and it doesn't seem to be affecting the crowd too much as uh, they're having some fun with a prize giveaway. Yeah, I think they're raincoats or something. <laughs> that might be the right smart kind of move. prize right now. Smart move. But I think these are just need them more nope. than the spectators. <laughs> spectators, of course, are under a canopy as we are here in our broadcast booth. But wind getting speed, a little wet here, though. Wind speed is a little bit lighter. It's only five kilometers an hour. The temperature plus 23. So we've uh, we've definitely um, seen the temperatures drop, and but also the wind speed drop. But of course. Temperatures dropped, wind speed dropped, but the rain has drastically increased. 
And we are standing by. Believe it or not, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna resume. They're gonna resume. Six arrows remaining in this gold medal matchup in the recurve women's team event. They have to be tough. They have to be really tough doing these conditions. Wow. It's amazing. Eight point there. Back-to-back -back aids for the United States. Shooting strong. You can say whatever you want, but this is this is strong shooting. If you keep in the within the red with these conditions, you're a top athlete. And let's see what the team from Korea can do with that. Seven points on that first shot. Matching the last arrow of the US. United States making up some ground here. The rain is pouring. The wind is calm though. Yeah, it's the one thing we could wow. say. Ten points. Finishes it yeah. off with a ten. Wow, that's amazing. 180, 169, unofficially. Korea leads. Three arrows remaining here in this gold medal matchup. Of Teammates the helping each other where they have to aim. Final arrow for the U.S. Katuna Lorik. Eight points concludes the United States' 24th arrow, and they stand at a total of 190. And when you look at the difference in scores here. 190, 180, United States lead, but Korea has three arrows remaining. Which is just, you can see the difference here between the two teams, two shots remaining. And just two points out of that uh, same spot. This is amazing what they're doing. 10, shot, ten points, that will clinch it. Korea, amazing, amazing, their 27 way to a gold ending. Medal. Wow. 207, 190, take the gold medal. Korea with the victory here against the United States. 207, 190 is the final. And they add to the medals they won yesterday as all three of these teammates won individual gold, silver, and bronze as they swept the podium. And they do it here in the team event. They're going to have a delay because of the weather and the, and the thunderstorm here. It's not safe for the archers to compete even further. Korea celebrates with yet another gold medal here in the Recurve Women's Team event in Antalya, Turkey. <laughs>